Hello everyone, my name is Brooke Bingaman and I work with the National Weather Service Forecast Office located here in Sacramento, California. This briefing was prepared on Thursday, November 29th around 4 p.m., but please check back to get the latest updated information on our webpage at www.weather.gov slash Sacramento. Basically what we're looking at is that between now and Sunday, Northern California will experience very wet and windy weather. This presentation was prepared to discuss the details and expected impacts of this storm. On this first slide, the satellite imagery here shows the west coast and the stormy conditions that are already occurring over Northern California. Moderate rain has been observed in parts of the Sacramento Valley and will continue, perhaps intensify, overnight. You can also see the unsettled weather that still resides over the Pacific Ocean. That is expected to move inland and continue to impact us through the weekend. During this stormy period, we are expecting two very strong intense waves as they move through between now and Sunday. The first wave is already beginning now and will continue overnight tonight. The second wave will be stronger and impact the region on Sunday. Residents in the area should be prepared for strong gusty winds along with very heavy rain that will cause river and stream rises throughout the region. Snow levels will be around 7,000 feet and rise over the weekend. So let's talk about the expected impacts. The main impacts from this storm will be due to flooding and winds. However, keep in mind that snow and blowing snow will initially be issues around the pass levels across the Sierra on Friday. This slide shows the topography of Northern California along with the river and stream system across our region. The mountain regions will be receiving high amounts of rain, so we really want to emphasize that there will be rapid rises of the small streams and tributaries across the mountains and foothills. This blue shaded area indicates some of those streams and tributaries that will feed into the main stem rivers. These streams include the basins of the Upper Feather, American, and Yuba rivers. Main stem river flooding is especially expected along the upper Sacramento River from Ord Ferry northward. Flooding will also occur for any low-lying areas along the upper Sacramento River. As the increased amount of water travels downstream, we expect weirs to overflow and begin filling all the bypasses. Another impact from flooding will be mud and debris flows, which we will talk about in the next slide. And don't forget, that these intense rain rates will cause ponding of water in town. Urban flooding will occur, so drive cautiously and be on the lookout for flooded roads, especially in areas of poor drainage. Moving on to the wind impacts, power outages are likely to occur as strong winds cause downed trees and limbs that will damage power lines. Make sure that you have supplies at home to get you through a power outage that could potentially last up to a day or even longer. So getting back to the mudslides and debris flows, this is an impact that can be very dangerous and very sudden to motorists or residents in steep terrain and or near burn scars from the wildfires that we had this past summer. This slide points out those areas of concern. The burn scars across Northern California are shown in red on the left-hand graphic, and these areas will not be able to handle intense rainfall from this storm. This will lead to mud and debris being washed into streams and creeks very rapidly. With strong enough rainfall, these mud and debris flows could become very large. Pay close attention if you live in an area downstream or downhill from an area recently burned. While some burn scars are in more remote areas, keep in mind that Highway 70 runs near the Chips Fire burn scar and other roads in that area could be very dangerous. This slide is a great summary of what we expect in terms of rainfall and wind potential. For the mountains, we're looking at 12 to 18 inches of rain. Across the foothills, 8 to 12 inches of rain. And along the valley floor, 4 to 8 inches of rain. 
with about two to four inches in the northern San Joaquin Valley. In terms of wind potential, all the winds will generally be southerly, coming from the south, moving northward. And across the mountains, we're looking at winds 25 to 40 miles per hour, gusting up to 70 miles per hour, perhaps even higher right along the ridge tops. For the foothills and the valley floor, southerly winds will range 25 to 35 miles per hour, gusting up to 55 miles per hour. This graphic shows us what the expected rainfall will be with this system from today into Sunday. On the right hand are some specific rainfall amounts that are forecasted. This graphic on the left gives you an idea of where the heaviest rain is expected and you can see that it's largely along the coast as well as across the higher terrain of the Sierra and Shasta County. Those colors in orange and red show those really high peak rainfall amounts. However, it's important to note that much of the valley floor is shaded in the yellow colors and that indicates at least six inches of rain and up to eight inches of rain. So we're definitely looking at widespread heavy rainfall. So once again, thank you for checking out this briefing and please prepare for this significant weather event. You can stay tuned to the National Weather Service or your favorite local media for the latest weather updates on this impactful series of storms. Our webpage is www.weather.gov slash Sacramento, but you can also find us on Facebook and on Twitter. You can follow the hashtags SACWX or CAWX for the latest forecast and weather updates as they occur. Thank you for listening and stay informed this weekend.